Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on blood bank management system and in the previous episode we have successfully added the functionality to search the donors in our donor module and from our dashboard and in this episode we will design login form for our application so without further ado let's move to our tutorial so I'll just open our project which is blood bank management system. Let's open the solution file of our project which is blood bank management system dot solution. I'll just double click on the solution file and it will open on our visual studio IDE. So this is our home form for our application and in this tutorial we will design login form. So let's go to solution explorer and in the UI folder just right click on UI folder and click on add and then click on new item and from here visual C sharp item select the visual C sharp item and here select the windows form and we will give its name as frm login and then click on add or press enter so i'll just click on add and this will be our login form so i'll just make it little bigger let's resize it and i also do not want the default borders and this buttons so i'll just remove it so select the form and go to properties uh, from in form bottle in form border style property select none from sizable so i'll just select none and it will remove the default border and icons like minimize maximize and close and here first thing we need to add is here close button so i'll just go to toolbox and search for picture box not close picture box so drag and drop picture box here let's resize it i think this will be perfect so let's click on this triangle icon and from size more normal to change it to a straight image this will fit the image perfectly inside this picture box and then select the picture box click on this triangle icon and here click on choose image to add a icon so and here select the local resource click on import and let's go to desktop and search for our close icon i have a close icon in our desktop we downloaded it while designing our users form so you all you might also have this close icon just select the close icon and click on open and let's click on ok again so this is the close icon i think it's little bigger let's resize it now this looks nice and here we i need to add a text box to add username and password and then login button and here we will display the name of our application so let's create uh, the place to insert username and password first so i'll just go to toolbox and search for label drag and drop label here and this will be username so just select the label go to properties let's change this text from label one to username and let's change its name as well it will be lbl username and let's change this font property so let's go to font and click on this three dot icon and from here we will be using sego ui because we have been using this font in all the forms like user and donor form so we'll use this form for now as well so let's change its form to 10 and click on ok so this is username and then another thing we need is text box to insert the username so just go to toolbox not server explorer so just go toolbox and here search for text box so i'll just drag and drop text box here and let's resize it i think this size will be good just select the text box and go to properties and let's change its name first so it will be txt username and let's change this font as well so just go to font property click on this three dot icon and then search for sego ui and it will be regular and let's make its size little bigger than the label so it will be 
font size 12 and uh, let's select on ok and it's little bigger and looks nice as well I'll position it I'll just select these two and add it for our password so just select these two and press ctrl and c to copy and then press ctrl and v to paste I'll just drag and drop this here and this will be password now so just select this label go to properties and this will be lbl password and let's change its text so it will be password and we also need to change the property of this text box so select the text box go to properties and this will be txt password password and its password character will be we don't need to show or display the password in plain text instead we will wrap or we will display asterisk or sign anything you want to display so just i, I just selected asterisk or multiplication sign to display in our password that's it now we need to add a button here to log in our application so i'll just go to toolbox and search for button so drag and drop button here and let's make it little bigger that looks nice so just select the button and let's change its properties by going to properties and this will be its name will be btn login and let's change its flat style as well its flat style will be flat so i'll just select flat and its back color will be green let's search for green color in we we'll go to the web panel and search for green color i think this will be good i'll just select forest green for now and let's change is four color as well so just go to the four color properties and uh, from control test select white which is control and this looks pretty nice let's change the font property of this button as well so just select the font property and click on this three dot icon and here search for sego ui the font we are using throughout our application and its font size will be 12 so click on ok and it, this looks nice now let's change the text from button one to login so i'll go to text properties and this will be login and that's it this looks nice but let's minimize the gap and let's select all of these and move it to the center so i think this is the center for now and here i need to display the name of our application so i'll just go to the toolbox and drag and drop label so i'll just drag and drop label and here i will display the name of our application so just select the label go to properties and it will be lbl app name and its text will be blood bank and its font size let's change the font size as well so just select the font property and click on this three dot icon and let's search for sego ui and it will be bold and let's make its font little bigger up to 24 might be great so i'll just select on ok and this looks nice as well and then we will add management system below the blood bank so i'll just select another label drag and drop another label drag and drop here it will be a much smaller than the first label which is blood bank so just select the label go to properties and let's change its name from label 1 to lbl app sub name and its text will be management and system that's it let's make its font size little bigger so i'll just go to font property and select this three dot icon and search for our font which is sego ui and it will be regular and let's change its font size to 12 let's click on ok 
that's nice i think we need to make it little bigger up to the size of the ending of the app name so just select the management system label go to properties and in font properties select three dot icon and let's select 16 and click on ok this is much bigger i think 14 will be great so i'll go to 14 i think this is much better so let's go with this one and this is the name of our application i think it would be great to add a icon before the name uh, an icon of a blood so let's search for the blood icon so i'll go to the google chrome or go to your browser and go to the website which is icns icons 8.com and from here we will search for our blood icon and download it it is a free site you can uh, use the icon from here without paying anything so let's search for blood icon i will go and click on search let's search for blood icon let's scroll and i think this looks nice so i'll just use this icon and let's click on download and let's click the largest size which is 96 pixel if you want to download a uh, much bigger sizes like 144 pixel or on 480 pixel you will need to pay some amount so i'll just click on download to download the icon and icon has been downloaded successfully i'll just click on this arrow and go to click on show in folder so we have our icon in our download section so i'll just cut it from here and paste it in our desktop for easy access so i'll just press ctrl and x and paste it in our desktop so i'll paste it here so we have our blood icon in our desktop so let's go to our application and here we need to add a picture box so just go to toolbox and search for picture box drag and drop picture box here let's resize it i think this will be nice we need to just drag the name little bit lower and then we will add the icon here so just select the picture box and change its properties it will be picture box app icon and let's add the pictures just select the picture box click on this triangle icon and click on choose image and check the local resource and then click on import and here we will search for our blood icon which is this one i'll just select this blood icon click on open and click on ok and let's change the size mode from normal to straight image i think normal is normal looks great than straight image so let's go with this one and this will be our login form so this is it guys we have successfully designed the form now let's check it out how it looks when we run our application but before running our application we need to change the startup file uh, go to the program.cs file and change the startup file so i'll just open a program.cs and here we have been opening from home but now we need to open from login so just remove this one and we will type frm and it will be login so that's it don't worry about the error just hover over the error so potential fixes and click on using blood bank management system dot ui and this will fix the issue and let's save it by pressing ctrl and s this should be the exact name as our form name which is frm and login and this name and this name must be exact so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's start our application so i'll just start the application and this login form is not opening in the center of the screen so we need to manage the position of login in and we haven't added the functionality to close the form as well so we'll add that from those functionalities so let's go to our code view let's stop this application let's go to form and let's select the form and go to properties and let's change its 
start position from windows default location to center screen so it will always open in the center of our screen let's save it by pressing ctrl and s let's add the functionality to close this form whenever we click on this close icon so i'll just double click on this icon and it will create a picture box click event and here we will write the code to close the application so this will be this dot close so this will close our application let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's start our application uh, by clicking on the start button so this is our login form and the form is successfully displaying on center of the screen let's check it username password is not displaying so that's it we have successfully designed the form let's close let's uh, click on this picture icon and check whether the close functionality works or not so i'll just click on this close icon and it works perfectly so this is it guys we have successfully designed the login form for our blood bank management system project and in the next episode we will add the functionality or actual functionality to login to our application uh, using our login form so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible till then see you soon bye bye